Come with him. guys welcome back to our youtube channel if you're new here you're most welcome please consider subscribing if you haven't already and also turn your notification bells on and of course to all our returning subscribers thank you so much thank you for loving value farm thank you so much for loving everything that we do at this farm as well we really appreciate you guys so so much well we are back at the farm and i'm super super excited it's a very early morning today and of course we are here to share with you everything that we are doing at the farm like we always promise you that we shall be taking you through our process of everything that we are doing at the farm and of course you really saw the previous weeks that we we go, I mean, is it weeks even already? I think the previous week when I showcased the piglets, the piglets are already here. And we are definitely going to tell you, of course, show you the journey of how we are taking care of them, how they are feeding, how they are transitioning, everything. Today, we are definitely going to share with you. And of course, we have our manager on standby, who is definitely going to also educate us more about how we are taking care of the piglets, how we are you know, feeding them, how they're growing so fast and everything to do about with the piglets. I'm super excited. Let's go together with you so that you can see what's happening. So hi, Mr. Sempets. How I'm are fine. you? I'm fine. How is your morning? Very fine. How I'm is still everything? sound. I'm really still sound. <laughs> Have you had any breakfast yet? Already. Are at, you serious? At 6.30. Wow, mm. that is so amazing. Yeah. So Mr. Charles, first introduce yourself to anyone who is watching you for the first time. Ooh. Yes. Today I'm going to use a different language. Hey, okay. Yeah. Bonjour fun. mes amis. Comment allez-vous? Tu travailles beaucoup aujourd'hui. Je m'appelle Sempex. Merci beaucoup. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Amusing me every time. <laughs> you keep surprising me. So where did you learn the French from? Oh, Madame Tina. Uh -huh. It's my secret. <laughs> that is so amazing, guys. Mr. Charles is an amazing person, as you guys really know him. Like he's just a whole round person. But Mr. Charles, we are really so grateful today. So today, today's episode, we are going to be talking about the piglets, mm -hmm. and we are going to be telling them how we are taking care of them, how they have transitioned. By the way, how old are our piglets? Uh, the first group is 21 days, that's three weeks. Okay. The second group is uh, nine days. Okay. And the, no, 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 no. The second group is 11 days. 11 days. And the last one is nine, uh, nine days. Wow, yeah. that is so amazing. Mm. So can we get inside on one of the pens where it's very dangerous or we can't even access? We, Especially maybe the one with the, without the mother. The camera maybe can reach there. Can reach there, uh, but the, we don't mm, need to go there. Exactly. It is safe enough. Why? What yeah. is the reason for that? Uh, you know, these mothers mm -hmm. are still scared okay. of other people. Mm, true. Actually, once you enter there, mm. it is going to become restless and make noise. Mm. So I think we can talk from outside. Okay, let's However, face this side. Uh, some the someone here. yes. Someone with the, this one, my friend who is behind the camera, mm. we ex exactly. So I can he come here. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. So, so how are the piglets so far? The piglets are so so fine. Wow. The three groups, the three liter, mm. are so good. One liter has um, eight piglets. Yes, the and first I, one. Uh, the first one has seven. Seven. The second one has. 10 okay. the third one has nine nine wow yep and that is a good start for uh, yeah one. exactly because it's their first, first time, time for farrowing mm. and it's really good, it's really good response yep wow yep. 
wow and these are the ham shares this were the first piglets that we got at the farm they already look so big mr charles what is the secret behind them being that big at three weeks first of all i love them so much <laughs> okay and i feed them okay very well okay and i sing to them oh my. even this morning i was just there at the gate they mm. came we started singing. singing. Yep. Do you know what was really so surprising when I came here very early in the morning? I think they also know me. I think the mother knows me already. Because the mother came towards and even the piglets were like coming towards me. And even the other piglets from down, the other older ones that we have, they were coming near. I was like, okay, this is so You know the reason why? Mm -mm. You are the only, okay, you are our director. Yes. But you are the only lady <laughs> whose face... <laughs> They see they whenever I like exactly time. yeah because you don't have so many ladies who come here. Actually, we don't have them. Yes. We are only male. male. So <laughs> yes. So that's <laughs> why now so they, they noticed you actually. Because they were coming towards me. I was like, okay, what is happening here? What Even you so can so uh, compare it down there yes. with the geese. Yes. You see, they are now friendly, so friendly to you because so they know. Uh huh. That, that is, is also exactly. Wow. Yep. So, Mr. Charles, talking about our piglets, like the first litter that we have here, what do you feed them on? Are they still feeding on their mothers? Did you separate them? You can share with the viewers out there what we are currently doing in the piglets. Thank you. I appreciate that question. Yes. Uh, you know, we may start from side A. Okay. But, we, no, we may start from side B. Because now your question is side B, side B, but allow me to start from side, side A. A. Okay. So now to have a healthy piglet, mm. one may think that Charles now is looking after these piglets with his brothers who assists me yep. right now. True. No. Okay. No. And okay. one may take that piglet mm. and fails. Why? Why? You know, when you want a good piglet, mm -hmm. like we human beings, once you want a hum a, a good a healthy baby, you start from day one. Day one. You know, some gentlemen, there are some people you know, when uh, he has a wife mm -hmm. who is pregnant, then on the seventh month, that's when you may think of looking after the wife mm. that pregnant woman True. no start from the one for me my secret here mm. which i would like to share with, with the viewers the old farmers and the farmers to be yeah. is this once i take my saw to the boar i record the day it has been Sad. served so from that service it has uh, attended, after recording that day, what I do, I start. Let me have this. I start from that day to look after, after this the, mother, the source. Mm. Why? Because I know this soul is not alone. Yes. He has what is going to become a litter to me. So I start feeding this so very very well yes with food with all the nutrients i want, that you want. is what are those nutrients? is vitamin there uh -huh. i need is maize brand there cotton there mm -hmm. minerals mm -hmm. uh protein, protein uh bones eh? bone ash mm? yes, yes. uh is there uh sunflower cake mm. seeds uh, is there a um, shell? Is there uh, this uh, so-called uh, silver fish? Yes. However, now we have been helped. And you, our bosses, you are doing a bit good. Thank because you. Because we are no longer going to stores. Uh, measure me 100 kilos of uh, <laughs> bran, then get me 100, uh, 10, 10 kilos of uh, silver fish, uh, 2 kilos of cotton, whatever, whatever, yeah. uh, brown salt, half a kilo. No. no. For us, you bring us already, already concentrated, concentrated feeds. Feed. Sure. And that helps us a lot. Yeah, sure. So, when I start feeding this saw, mm. this mother, mm. I know that now once it feeds well, mm. 
it's also feeding, feeding the, little the little ones inside. Yeah. So by the time of following, mm. the litter is so healthy. For two days, you may think that they are of a week. Of a week. And from there, I make sure that the first three days to seven, mm. they have to enjoy, enjoy the milk of the mother. Of the mother. Yeah. You know, there is a, uh, so many beneficial nutrients. ingredients, nutrients inside in that milk. In that yeah. milk. Just like a first, like a newborn. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, so after a week, mm. okay, I can relax, but I make sure. And you have to be sure there. Mm. And what you do, try from the very start. Mm. Get the small one, put it near the chest. Yes. Then so that it can take, can more, take milk more milk than... The, the bigger ones. Exactly. And once it is following, please don't leave her alone. You be there. Because during following, one piglet may come and block the vulva. Oh. Can come across. Yes. And then others cannot come, cannot come out. Outside. And then... It, no! The, the mother can die. Oh. Yes. Oh my God. So That's what so you do, bad. you have to be there and be ready with the water. And gloves. Yes. Hmm? Like I think I've got a sample here. I don't know. Did I move the sample here? Yeah. Have the gloves. Mm. You see? So that after cleaning, you will clean yourself properly. Mm. Then put on your gloves to help. Use only one arm. Mm. To help it cool. push your arm there slowly mm. to change this piglet so that it can come out. For piglets, it's okay whether it is head first or tail first. Tail first. Yeah, there is no, there is no procedure no, like they are supposed to. Exactly, mm. it's all the same. Mm. So then, after that, try to help the piglets mm. to start looking for the teeth of the mother. To start, you know, when they are born, when they are followed, they are hungry. They are so hungry. Yeah, they need to. That's they why you them. see after being followed. It looks for, for, food. for food, so help them to feed. To feed. And the thing is, they know where the, the breasts are, and they know how. Yes, to but at times it may even move. You know, when you have just come to the world, where world. exactly it can just move, even going there. You just pick it, pick it. but be with the clean hands, yeah. clean fingers, and then repeat to exactly. So from there. The, the business there is finished. It's done. It's done. Mm. Now we come to looking after, after the piglets mm. after that time of following. Yes. So make sure when, you know, for us here, there is a problem we had uh, or a challenge. It's not a problem, it's a challenge. You know, uh, it's good maybe at night, check on your, on the piglets. On the, uh, no, on the, the uh, on the saws. But now, these souls were also very complicated. At around 4 a.m., between there, they started following. So by following, then uh, one saw had to, uh, to lie on, uh, yeah, on, yeah, on one piglet, you see. Yeah, so that, uh, that yeah, exactly, yeah, so, but... As a, a, as a farmer, the struggle, call, the struggle, uh, continues. The struggle continues. <laughs> Someone was telling me we should get a, a following crate. Yeah, yeah, we can get a separate uh, uh, and, uh, uh, yeah, and separate them. But when you are there, that's very good. Yeah. When you are there, but the problem, this one happened when? When we were in uh, Exactly. If it was during the day, like me, every, now we have got those 15 mm. expecting. For me, almost every 30 minutes. Mm. I pass there. Pass I don't know how many kilometers I move here, either yeah. from down there or from around Up here. Yeah, in order to check on them, mm. to make sure that if there is one following, I'm yes. there. there. Yeah. Now, after 10 days, yeah. you know, from day one to 10 days, uh, they need this milk almost throughout. throughout. But after 10 days, try to separate these piglets from the, mother, from the mother so that they don't keep on 
uh, breastfeeding. breastfeeding all the time. All the time. No, 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 no. It's not also good. It's not, not, it's not good at all. By 10 days, you can get what we call creep feed. Creep feed, wow. That creep feed all at right time, here. yeah. That creep. That's why you've been seeing me holding yeah. this bucket. This, <laughs> creep, this feed. creep feed, it's already made. It's already made the creep feed. Everything is inside here. There like is, what? there is uh, maize bran, there is cotton, there is a uh, brown salt, mm. there is a uh, silver mm. fish, there is a uh, um, wheat bran. Okay. So everything wow. is there. But wow. if you cannot manage this one, mm. don't be... Don't stress yourself yeah, And don't get scared. You know the problem is mm. this in farming. Mm. Some farmers, once they meet any problem, any pain, mm. you know pain mm. is temporary. Yes. But quitting mm. is forever. forever. Why do you quit? Don't quit. <laughs> no. The struggle continues. continues yes. They don't get scared. Yes. Mm? And challenges are always there. Yes. We have so, to face them and we know how to handle all the situations, yeah. all the bad times. You have to know how to handle them. So that's For that's sure. It. Because some farmers may say, and oh, now mm. if I cannot get this one, her mm. farming is very complicated. Because these are quite mm. a bit mm. pricey, to yeah. be honest with you guys. But if you can, well and good, but it's pretty good. Yeah. But there's also an option, Mr. Chelsea. Yeah. The option is mm. you just, if you want to get creep feed, mm. For your piglet from 10 days onwards to 21 days yes. what you do is this get maize bran 60 kilograms, kilograms. get wheat bran 20 kilograms mm -hmm. get silver fish 8 kilograms get uh, brown salt half a kilo get um, what no what to do Premix uh, two kilograms okay. and then mix, mix very well, mix it properly. Mm. Start giving Give your uh, piglets. Mm? Sorry? Mix vigorously. <laughs> <laughs> that is from someone, oh, someone behind, behind the, the camera. camera. Yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. So and give them. And give them. Yeah. So, so those the measure the um, the mixing that you've measured yep. right now. How long does it take to feed them? Yes. Feed no, them. you know since they are still young, mm. you just put there, mm. and then they will eat. They will them, just eat yeah, yeah, because they need to eat. Mm. Even you don't need to say I have to give them. Uh, 10 grams, 10 grams and, and, and yeah. you just put yes. there they will just eat and then sleep eat and, and sleep. sleep yeah as i was so there's no see? measurement just ah, no 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 as long as you get those measurements, measurements. Of, before mixing okay. yeah they are very very essential how long does it take to for them to finish well, how, how long do you, like a ah month? it can take uh, if you have got it can take almost a Two months, two months, really? yeah, hundred, wow. yeah, because those are hundred kilos. Mm. When you add everything, everything whatever, yeah, together. it comes to hundred kilos, okay. and they eat very little. Very little, exactly. Very, very little. So when they were little, if they are little like that, when they start feeding, yep. do they also drink the water? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, yeah, when you put the water in a trough, mm. they will start drinking. Mm. But now for us, we are using. The, the nipples. nipples. Now, for me, now my exercise, which I'm mm. doing with them, yes. is to. Teach them how to, to drink using yeah. the nipples. So what I get, I get a stick and then press the the the, the nipple and then it flushes water. And then for them they are looking. After that they are going to make it a game mm -hmm. and they will go to Can we also to try. Okay, later on. Yes. And then they start practicing. Little, yeah, also, they, they realize I think there's something nice here. Yes. But okay. now for us here, for our for ours here, since we have got milk from our cows, mm -hmm. now in the morning we give them milk. Okay. And the evening we give them milk. Okay. And during the day mm -hmm. they have to take these uh, exactly. and they sleep and they pray. And they, pray. Uh, they start praying, knocking each other. Wow. Because they that are is so yeah. amazing. Now at uh, at, uh, uh, as I said, from 10 days, bring them, separate them from the mother. But if you don't have a supplement, like for us, we have milk. Yeah. So since for us, we have milk, I decided not to take them back to the, to the mother. mother. Because they have so been breast, breastfeeding terribly. Mm -hmm. And you know, males are many. Yes. 
Yeah. And you know, like a, a baby boy is not so gentle as a baby, baby girl. girl. So yeah. those ones were so rascal, I said, no way. Mm -hmm. So I had to separate them. And I left only one, which was the last one to be followed. Okay. It has been a bit small. So at least I've given her uh, just a week mm -hmm. and I will also separate, also separate it. it. But now if you don't have milk mm -hmm. to give the, to, to, the, the to, to the piglets, what do this? In the morning, give these piglets to the mother for one hour. One hour only. Then separate them. Separate them. Give them. Give them the give them the yes. In the evening mm -hmm. or in the afternoon, again bring them mm -hmm. to the mother mm -hmm. for one, one hour. hour. And take them back and separate them. This helps. Uh, you know these pigs should be with the mother almost 60 weeks. Six weeks. That's one month and a half. Yes, yes. But once you leave them with the mother throughout, mm. the mother will look bony, so skinny. skinny, and mm. once and then that you have lost profit. Mm. Because now you cannot take that uh, mother mm. who is skinny mm. to the to the yeah. boa. Yeah. And mind you, mm -hmm. when you separate these piglets yes. from the mother, it's just a week. It is uh, yeah on heat. What? Yeah, like now that one. When I separate that, I when take away the little, uh, the little and the last one, the last one. I will just take it to the boa, and within a week, ah, uh, what? Yes, I need piglets. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, I need piglets. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is yes. really so interesting. <laughs> yeah. Because after just one week after separating, yeah, them, then it comes. It comes the heat, and then between three days to seven. To seven. Yeah, days. it is already back to the heat, and then and then you record. Mm. Yeah. That's why you see for us here, we're gonna put a CCTV camera, yes. whereby they will be recording. Yeah. So even though I'm there or not there, mm. it will be serviced and the camera will be recording. and recording the time. Mm -hmm. So for me, when I go back to my screen, I just put the, record, yes. the details and put them in my computer, period. Wow, yes. that is so, yeah. so This is gonna be more than a farm. It's gonna be more than a farm. <laughs> so everything mm -hmm. should be modern. Wow, yeah. wow, that is really so good. Yeah. And even I've really seen how these other young ones oh, that sorry. we have here, yeah. Are looking really so healthy they're not even on creep food creep feeds yep. but they're already so big i think it's just because of the mother feeding. yeah the so, trick the mm. trick is we are feeding these mothers, mothers so mostly. so well mm. and the food for them since they are being breastfed all the, all the time, time the food should be there all, all the, the time. time we cannot say in the morning and in the, in afternoon. the afternoon no these are mothers the food, the food should be there the water is always yeah there. they have to eat they have to lie mm. down they have to sleep they have to take water mm. they have to enjoy life enjoy why life. should they suffer wow no way wow yep. that is really so amazing guys i feel like he has really explained in case you can't afford the crib feeds please use the alternative that we've already given you and definitely your pigs are going to grow faster they're going to grow bigger like the way you're seeing these ones these ones are already like two three weeks sorry, three weeks and they really look so huge from the last time that i showcased guys there's a big big difference and i think this is really helping them so so much where do you think people can get these crib feeds from? store food i mean feed stores, feed stores. Mm, they yes. have them they have them they have these them. ones they are called romreco this rom reco made from Netherland. Okay. Yeah, they are from Netherland. This. Wow. Yes. Would, would don't you have anything within Uganda? Maybe ah, they do. Uh, they do make. Uh. Uh, they do make. Yes, yes. <laughs> These ones who are making uh, Wonder Pig, they do make they them. Do the yes, yes. Wow. Mm. So after how many, how long? Even at Container you? Village, who are in Uganda, mm. they can go to Container Village and they can get them. Okay. Yes. So after the 21 days, yep. after giving them this, they are good to go to the normal brand. Yeah, to grow up. Grow up. Uh, grow yeah, uh, yeah grow up feed. Wow. Uh, and that's a different measure. That is a different yeah. measure. You know, these pigs, whenever it goes on growing, the lesser the ingredients yes the ingredients we, 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 exactly okay yes that is so, yeah so so one may think the other way around that the more i do ah no way no way no way wow. the, yeah so. and even the feeding schedule changes uh, as well uh, exactly because, because they are even we shall be using the measurements. when your measurements you have to take half a kilo you have to yes. wow 
piglets. Like so that. when do you start measuring our piglets? Uh, these piglets went uh, from uh, from two months. Yes. We have to start measuring. Start measuring them. Yes. And there they have to take quarter a kilo. Quarter a kilo. Yeah. In the morning, morning quarter, quarter a kilo, and that will be half a kilo a, a day. Kilo. Interesting. Yeah. But Mr. Chan and by the way, also it depends to the weight. To the weight yeah. as well. Yeah. And and what I forgot, mm. if you have got a big basket, mm. you can put all the litter there okay. and weigh it. Okay. So and to, to get the average weight, weight. of each. Okay. Then uh, after three weeks, mm. again you measure. You measure. Like now for us, I think today or tomorrow. We're gonna do what? We're gonna try to put them together. We, we bring our weighing scale from yeah. down there. Sure. Then we weigh and see how is it. How and if improving? and if they have improved well, mm. that means that they have really benefited a lot from the milk from the mother. From the mother. Yeah. Wow. If they are really less, then you have to know that ah, there There's is something. a problem. Mm. And then you have to. Then you rectify it. Yeah. And for us here, according to how we look after them, mm. uh, deworming, whatever, we can do it for for the sake of deworming. But once the feeds are clean, water is clean, where they are staying, clean. clean. So you can really see how mm. they are living. They are living like chances of they... worms, whatever. Mm. It's not. Mm. It's not that so well. we just put our side on the side of vitamin to vitamin. give them vitamin. You know, vitamin helps the to kill to, 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 to build the body so that it cannot just get sick and how. So how do you give them the vitamins? Is it through the water? Why do you put it? Ah uh, no, for us here since we are the using needle, mm -hmm. it is injectable. It's injectable. Yes. Wow. And those who are injecting should be very 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 careful mm. because there is a intermuscular injection mm. and there is a sow strenuous injection wow. so if you don't know the difference of the two where to inject excuse me viewers mm. excuse me farmers not visit a vet officer to help you otherwise you are going to kill your animal, you are going to kill your bird. I think we because, shall demonstrate to them one time on yeah, how we I are think doing so. That. I think so. Yes. Because there are two different ways of injecting. True. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not a question. It's not a question life. of injecting. Do not risk, no. Do not risk your life. Do not risk your animals yeah. because you lose. That's your why those vet people are go. Important. Yeah, go for for for, for those studies. Yes. Yeah, to help us. Exactly. So once we don't use them, then we are, we're gonna go wrong. Unless you know what you are doing. You're Wow, that is really amazing. I know people wanted us to be doing short, short videos because they feel yeah. like we over talk too much. We put everything in one video. Oh, wow. but, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. You know, when, when, when you with an expert, everything Baby, comes up. There is even one who told me, mm. called me, uh -huh. knows is me, he's a pastor Mugambe, mm. he's in Uganda. Yeah. He said, No, but you people, Mr. Sempex mm. and Madam Tina, yes. we love you so much, mm. but you are so. Uh, it, uh, what did he say? Uh, you, you, you are so leaning on the Western world, okay. meaning that we are <laughs> so using English, English. all the time. <laughs> Don't mind. Don't mind. Don't mind. The next video, we shall, we shall be trying to put some Luganda mm. for those who want Luganda and mm. some English so that he, you can also mm, understand yeah, as well. Mm, but so. of course it's the majority. Yeah. Most people at least understand that English <laughs> and Uganda is a speaking, you know, English yeah. speaking country. Mm. But we shall try and also yeah. put in some Luganda for people who want us to speak some Luganda. That is well and good. We shall be mixing. Banange, Obubizobuto, Bulabidi Wabulunji, Labidi Rama Manga, Abuzara, Omuyambe Kobabaye, Cheta Gisa, Atobu Bizobu, Buen Piso, Eya Ion. Oba chetwandi se echuma, muruganda tuchita e echuma. Kakati echume chongo chuwade, obu bizobo, bobato ina dagala digulidwa mu bano abatunde dagala, fune takali echiswa, di meme nture burunji nyori jiride daluri se burunji, or take mkasonda kuchintwe chionjo, buja kuja butandu, atina neta kolia kakasa wori jenga wayonjo. Dija kuba buja kujabutandiko kuliaria. Obubizi nga wezeze na kukumi. 
bambi bujje ku mama obuteke boka buleme kuyonka mama banga lyonna ajja kukogga otuko okubujja ko ngakozi chikutwalire wiki endala satu go cha mulisa akolechi addo noza tunayongera ko no lawe tujagena ngateka nga mu rugando tono noza kakati ya leti chiroze cho you are happy not so tini cho mulisoga wetu gamba <laughs> but we really okay. appreciate you guys so much. At least you've learned one or two things from this video about feeding the piglets from 10 days as well, or even from day one. How you're supposed to take care of them, especially the feeding. I feel that is really amazing. Mr. Charles has shared with us very, very, very good supplements that you can definitely give to your pigs as well. You'll definitely see a change when they are, you know, when they feed through this grip feeds and also anything that will definitely supplement them with. So Mr. Charles, I wanted you to also maybe give an advice to any farmer out there. Mm. One point maybe that they should not forget when they are having piglets. Mm. Yes, for an upcoming farmer or even a farmer who is already, you know, who is already expecting their piglets, but one advice that they shouldn't ever forget. What they should not forget when they are expecting piglets follows like this one be be careful at that very time of following you may lose your piglets more than one if you are not careful help them you know when they are coming out at times they come wet and maybe they may have some some uh, liquid, liquid like um, mucus mm. around the nose, mm. around the stout. Eh? Mm. So once you don't help it, clean it, but with your clean with your fingers. Mm. With yeah, be with your water nearby. So clean it. If it has failed, if those mucus are inside, try to hold the hind legs and um, try to to how can i swing say it. swing it yes mm -hmm. try to swing it they will come out and then yeah start breathing and then you don't lose it oh, wow. yeah i think that is yeah. really good mm -hmm. enough, mm -hmm. enough. For, for a start start, yeah there are so many but we shall go on giving little by little, little, by little. Mm. But we are still guys, around we are, around. we are not going to pass on <laughs> tomorrow god still needs us <laughs> we have a lot of I things know. to do i know but really appreciate you guys if you like this video if you maybe learned anything from this video please give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel please please share with all your friends and family tell them that value farm is here to share the knowledge we have our experts here we are doing amazing we are not selfish with everything we are showing you process by process and how everything is growing here and of course people who want the piglet please start booking right now because they are limited we, of course we have some that are almost farrowing as well but they are limited as long as you book early you definitely get your piglets because we shall be selling them at six weeks then also at two months so you definitely contact us on our whatsapp number so that we can give you the details of how you can maybe deposit or maybe book so that we can definitely keep for you some piglets here because you know we have one of the best breeds mr charles yes we have i trust our breed our breed is the best seriously so in case you're getting a breed from value farm trust me you are going to definitely succeed in farming and of course with everything that we are sharing here you see how we are taking care of them you'll definitely also learn from this channel as well so getting breeds from this farm will definitely help you to also prosper in piggery and also prosper in farming as well but we really appreciate you guys so much tell a friend to tell a friend till next time ciao